Hi, I'm Audrey Martinovich, here for Production Expert. The question I'm most often asked by new podcasters is, how do I record someone over Zoom or Skype or long distance? In this three-part video series, I'll show you how to do just that using the Evo 4 interface by Audient. In this video, I'll go over the functions of the Evo 4 and how to get it up and recording in no time. I'll demonstrate Smart Gain, which helps you set the perfect record level, Loopback, which allows us to record computer audio such as a podcast guest connected via Zoom, and Monitor Mix to dial in your preferred headphone mix. In my follow-up videos, I'll demonstrate how to record a podcast guest using Zoom and Audacity on a PC, and how to record an interview using Source Connect Now, Pro Tools, and your Mac. Now, let's look at the interface. On the back, we have two combination XLR quarter-inch inputs, quarter-inch outputs to speakers, and USB. On the front, there's the hi -Z instrument input and headphone output. When headphones are plugged in, it cuts the signal to the speakers. This is helpful for reducing the echo or feedback that happens when your or your guest's microphone picks up the audio coming out of the speakers. On top of the Evo 4, we have phantom power, input selection buttons, the smart gain button, volume knob, output volume, and monitor mix button. We'll get into smart gain and monitor mix in a moment, but first we need to head to the Audient website to download and install the necessary drivers to configure loopback and do any firmware updates. Check the description of this video for a link. After everything is installed and you've registered the product, plug the Evo 4 in and it will light up to indicate that it is communicating with the computer. Plug your microphone into input 1. You can set the record level by pressing 1, then turning the dial up as you talk. Or you can use the Smart Gain feature. Press the Smart Gain button and the input channel LEDs will light up. Press 1 because that is where our microphone is plugged in, then press the Smart Gain button again to begin. The LED will flash red to indicate that the Evo 4 is listening. Start talking at what might be the loudest you'll get during the podcast as your sound check. I like to sound check with laughter, since that tends to be louder than spoken word, and this phrase, pretty powerful people are pretty and powerful to check if plosives will be an issue. The Evo 4 will automatically set the gain to be high enough to record properly, but with enough headroom to minimize the chances of clipping or distorting the audio. When the process is complete, the Smart Gain button will flash green twice and you're ready to start recording. Which brings me to the monitor feature that I really like, being able to monitor your own microphone while monitoring your guest using the monitor mixer. Pressing the monitor mix button and turning the dial all the way to the left will allow you to monitor your inputs only, and turning the dial all the way to the right allows you to monitor the outputs only. I like to be somewhere in the middle during podcast tapings and even during general Zoom calls so I can monitor my microphone and my guest at the same time. Now you're ready to use the Evo 4 by Audient. Priced at $129, this interface packs a lot of cool functionality like loopback and smart gain into a small interface with great sound. For most at-home studio applications such as podcasting or streaming to Twitch, the two-channel Evo 4 is plenty to get you by, but they do have a bigger 4-in, four 4-out four available, the Evo 8, which could be great for small bands who want to do some live streaming. Be sure to check out my follow-up videos to learn how to use Loopback for podcasting. Until next time, I'm Audrey Martinovich, here for Production Expert.